welcome to Cheap Steam Games. I'm Todd, and this is Raptor, Call of the Shadows. This is a classic game from 1994. Um, you can buy it individually on Steam for $4.99, or you can buy it part of the 32 game Apogee 3D anthology thing. Um, it's a pretty cool game. It's unique because at the time it was it was very difficult compared to the rest of the game is being released on PC. Um, you you really couldn't you really couldn't skip through it as fast, I guess you could say. Because um, it's a it's kind of a tough game at the very beginning, which is unique. God, look how fast that loads! Jeez. Very. <laughs> I remember waiting just endlessly for the game to load on my, my Tandy or Packard Bell or whatever I was using at the time. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this is so sweet. You might notice that the, the music is actually different. Uh, they digitized the old audio files and then I guess they they changed it again. So like in the late 90s they released an edited version, an updated version for Windows. And what happened was they digitized the music and then they re-released it again in 2010. And I think they they quote unquote made it better. Um, and so you you're hearing music that just doesn't sound like the classic. Um, the controls are pretty much exactly the same. Um, the sound effects sound pretty on par from what I can remember. I mean, it's been 20 years. Um, but I think I think the only other thing, the beginning sound effects are a bit different, like the jet engines and stuff sound different. Um, the death animation is the same. The death sounds are different. So it's just sound is really that kind of throws you off. But I think it's still totally worth it. Oh, I remember these guys. They like follow you and speed up over time, I think. Something like that. Let's see. And I, if I remember right, Bravo Sector is the easiest, and then as it goes, it gets further down the list of sectors, it gets more difficult. If I remember right. I do remember how you have to just save all of your cash and buy like one epic set of missiles or something it's just so you can survive going further into the game and then you die and you rage quit for a few days and then you come back to it <laughs> oh man this brings like good memories I used to go garage sailing pull apart PCs and haggle with people and Unplugging things recklessly and shoving them into different slots, and I'm surprised I didn't kill myself. Unplugging power supplies. Those are the days. And this was one of the best games you could play. At least in this genre of games. I mean, it's. I mean, look how responsive this is. It's pretty good. Fly around them. Um, pew pew. Oh, look at that. Easy peasy. 55k started with 10, and there you go. First level done. But you notice that when the jet landed, there was no sound effects there. It was just blaringly loud music. It's like they they just edited it out for some reason. It's really weird. I'm not sure why. Save your pilot. Yep, we're gonna save Mr. Donger, aka Doug. Let's see. Exit supply room. You can check out some supplies. There's Doug with his his pierced ear. There's Harold's death emporium. Sixty-seven of those. Got none of those. Mega bomb. That's pretty wicked. Yep. All the look at this. It just keeps going up in price. Up and up and up and up. 
I don't know if I ever got to that. I think the best I ever got was like, I think it was this guy. If I remember right. Just saving it up. This thing is pretty sweet. I've gotten that one before. Oh man. Good memories. Good game. Totally recommend it. It's, it's cheap. Very simple. You can jump right in and well, you can't really beat that combo. Thanks for watching. This is Cheap Steam Games. I'm Todd. Go buy Raptor, Call of the Shadows. Get the 1994 Classic Edition on Steam. Don't get the, the newer one. It's crap. Thanks for watching.